Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will showcase you about Libya. Libya, formerly the state of Libya, is a country in North Africa's Maghreb area. It is bordered on the north by the Mediterranean Sea, on the east by Egypt, on the southeast by Sudan, on the south by Chad, on the south by Niger, on the southwest by Algeria, and on the northwest by Tunisia. Libya, a country in North Africa's Maghreb area, is the subject of this virtual guide. The Libyan desert part of the Sahara covers around 90% of the nation, making cultivation and thus life only viable in a few scattered oases. The continent's fourth largest country is roughly the same size as Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom combined. Libya's largest population concentrations are scattered along the Mediterranean Sea's more fertile coast. Libya's economy is predominantly based on petroleum profits which account for nearly 95% of export earnings and 60% of GDP. Libya has one of the highest nominal per capita GDPs in Africa, thanks to its oil income and small population. With a population of roughly 1.1 million people in 2019, Tripoli is Libya's capital and largest city. It is situated on the border of the desert in northwest Libya, on a rocky outcropping protruding into the Mediterranean Sea and forming a bay. Tarapulis al Ghab is the Arabic name for the capital. The Phoenicians founded the city in the 7th century BC, and it was originally known as Ea. Tripoli has a population of approximately 2.2 million people. It is the country's principal economic hub and the country's center of banking, finance, and communication, as well as one of Libya's most important commercial and manufacturing centers. Arabic is the official language. The ancient city of Leptis Magna was founded by Phoenicians of Tyre or Sidon in the 7th century BC and was later settled by Carthaginians around the end of the 6th century BC. The city's natural harbour at the mouth of Wadi Labda aided its development as a major commerce hub. At the mouth of the Wadi Labda on the Mediterranean, Leptis or Lake Cheese Magna, also known by various names in antiquity, was a significant city of the Carthaginian Empire and Roman Libya. The Royal Palace of Tripoli is one of Libya's largest and most beautiful structures. It was constructed in the 1930 during the reign of Italo Balbo. The Palazzo del Governatore was its official name. It served as the seat of the Italian Governor General before becoming the seat of the English Governor during the British Mandate period and then King Idris al Senussi from 1951 to 1964. It is situated on a steep hill in Thedara area, which is regarded one of Tripoli's highest points, and from its balconies you can see most of the city's structures, including the ancient city and the seaside. Its design combines native and Roman elements, combining with Tripoli's iconic red castle.
Its interior walls are covered in themes, murals, and magnificent paintings by well-known Italian sculptors and artists. The palace was neglected and neglected after the September 1969 coup, and most of its furnishings, including furniture and fine artworks, were lost. The ornaments and roofs were distorted, with some scraped and cracked. Following the U.S. invasion on Libya in 1986, it sustained some damage and was transformed into a museum known as the Libya Museum. It was converted into a public library known as the National Library in recent decades after normal upkeep rather than specialist technological care. Horse racing has a lengthy history in Libya. The Libyan horse breeding industry was founded in 1959 by the Libyan Ministry of Agriculture. When Gaddafi took power, though, he handed it over to the military. The thoroughbred industry was effectively suppressed as a result. This began to change in 2004 when breeders began to attend Libyan auctions and import horses from the United Kingdom, the United States, and other countries. Following the revolution in 2012, auctions resumed, as did horse racing, but the events were unofficial at the time. Horse racing is still the most popular pastime for Arabian horses in Libya, with 3240 racing days held each year. Each racing meeting has two, three, or more Arabian horse races. Every year, two to four endurance races are held, with Arabian horses accounting for more than half of the contestants. Although show jumping is a prominent equestrian sport, only a few Arabian horses compete in it. Traditional horseback riding is a prominent equestrian horse activity. Anglo-Arab and half-bred horses dominate this sport, and only Arabian horses of a bigger size are allowed to compete. Hope you liked the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.